Low-dose aspirin is standard therapy primarily because it reduces the secondary incidence of myocardial infarction and stroke. We also know that drug resistance to aspirin might result in treatment failure, but what defines aspirin resistance and how common is it really? Now in circulation, researchers report on their efforts to identify true pharmacological resistance to aspirin, such as might be explained by genetic causes, and they come up with a surprising conclusion. First, here's what they did. 400 healthy volunteers were screened for their response to a single oral dose of 325 milligrams of immediate release or enteric-coated aspirin. Individuals who appeared aspirin resistant on one occasion underwent repeat testing and if still resistant, were exposed to low-dose enteric-coated aspirin at 81 milligrams and clopidogrel at 75 milligrams for one week each. Now here's the surprising part. Variable absorption caused a high that is up to 49% frequency of apparent resistance to a single dose of 325 milligrams of enteric coated aspirin, but not to immediate release aspirin. None of the volunteers was resistant to immediate release. Thus, the conclusion of these researchers is that pharmacological resistance to aspirin is extremely rare. Their study failed to identify a single case of true drug resistance. Pseudo-resistance reflecting delayed and reduced drug absorption complicates enteric-coated but not immediate release aspirin administration. I admit to taking aspirin every day, and I have a large bottle of 325 milligrams enteric-coated aspirin at home, but because I only want to take 180 milligrams each day, I bite each tablet in half each morning and save the other half for tomorrow. Because of that, I guess I don't have to worry about non-absorption since I break the coating. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.